What's up, Concert Addicts? Johnny Kinsvider here with Concert Addiction with a pretty badass tour announcement to talk about, and that would be that Static X has announced that they will tour North America this summer in celebration of the 20th anniversary of their debut album, Wisconsin Death Trip. And uh, the tour will also be paying tribute to their late frontman, Wayne Static. They're bringing with them Devil Driver, who will co-headline all the shows, and uh, also Des Favara, the voice of Cole Chamber, and Dope will also be on the bill. And uh, this is a badass tour for a lot of reasons. Not only are they celebrating their debut, but they're paying tribute to Wayne Static, and there's not really a better way to do that than share this music, continue to play it with the original lineup, and sharing the stage with someone like Devil Driver, who has a clear influence from someone like Wayne Static and these industrial metal kind of pioneers in Static X. And uh, yeah, bringing dope and the voice of Cold Chamber. It's going to be a fucking fun night for sure. And they're hitting pretty much every every major city in North America. Even the, the tour is only just over a month long. They're hitting a lot of dates along the way, or a lot of cities rather, along the way. And they're playing mostly small venues, uh, which I think is great. A lot of clubs and things like that. And the reason why I think that's fun is even though it's cool to see your favorite bands uh, headline in big arena shows or playing amphitheaters or things like that, I feel like there's just a certain element that makes a tiny, dusty club the, the perfect place to enjoy music like this. You're in a crowded room, a tiny room with a shit ton of other people Listen to music you love. Everybody's just going batshit crazy, having a good time. It just feels more at home there. Don't get me wrong. It's still awesome to see them other places because you're still hearing the same sound, essentially. It's just something that it makes it more enjoyable for me just because, like I said, it just feels more right. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to try to hit the Denver day. I'll go through some of the cities that this is hitting in a sec. Uh, I do want to talk about, though, I do find it interesting that this is a co-headlining tour. Uh, given that they are celebrating so much, you'd think they would want to be the sole headliner on this. And that's not a knock against Devil Driver. I think they're fantastic, and their live shows are a blast. I saw them at Rocklahoma a couple years ago. They were playing on the side stage, and I came out of that pit covered in blood that wasn't mine. And so, yeah, it was an awesome time, and it's going to be a rough night for sure. It, it, all four of these are, you know, they're going to bring a rowdy crowd, and even though they're all kind of of the same world, there's different fan bases, different elements, and I think they're all going to work together well. And uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll get into the dates. Uh, it's going to kick off in June on the 18th in Arizona at the Marquee Theater, and it'll wrap up uh, July 27th in uh, las vegas at the house of blues but along the way we're hitting los angeles denver indianapolis cleveland uh pittsburgh detroit toronto atlanta houston dallas albuquerque they're playing pretty much everywhere and so like i said even though it's a short tour they're probably still coming to a city near you because they cram a bunch of shows in there and that's what bands like this do Oh, which is awesome, and yeah, I'm super stoked on this. I think it's a great way to honor Wayne Static, and even though I question the co-headlining aspect, uh, like I said in the beginning, it's not a bad thing, because that is a great way to honor him, to share the stage with somebody who, in, that somebody who was clearly influenced by him, at least I think. I don't know if they are. I don't know if they've ever said that, but I would assume, because uh, I'm pretty sure Devil Driver didn't establish until the early 2000s, and, you know, Static X, this is 20th anniversary, so they've uh, been around a little bit before that, or 20th anniversary of their debut album, I believe. Uh, they've actually been a band since, like, the late 90s. I, I, I feel like I feel like they formed around 95 or 90. I should have looked that up, but I think Wisconsin Death Trip was their debut album, and that was 1999, obviously, if this is the 20-year anniversary. But, yeah, I, I don't... I don't have any complaints about this whatsoever, just some curiosity, and I'm sure that uh, Static X will head will uh, close every night, even though it's a co-headlining, um, because I view this as their tour, They've, they're celebrating all this stuff, but who knows, they, they might alternate, they might close one night and then, you know, play before Devil Driver the next, some bands alternate, some co-headliners, it's the same band closing every night, when Motley Crue and Kiss did their co-headliner, uh, they were both on the bill as headliners, but I'm pretty sure Kiss ended every night. Same thing with Five Finger Death Punch and Shinedown. So who knows how this will go. I imagine Static X will play last, but 
who knows maybe we'll get an alternator and i think that's cool because like i said they both have solid sets and uh yeah, I say again, it's a great way to honor uh, the legacy of Wayne Static, getting everybody back to do this tour and continue to play the songs. Yeah, I think it's great because his passing did leave a pretty big hole as far as, you know, the metal world and especially the like industrial rock kind of stuff. It, it was a tragic and sad loss, and the only thing we can do is continue to uh, share his legacy and continue to make it live on and that's exactly what they're doing so i'm super stoked about it wisconsin death trip 20th anniversary and memorial tour to honor wayne static by static x devil driver des favara and dope i'll put a link in the description where you can buy your tickets and see the full list of dates and get other information and all that stuff make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel also check out my facebook page facebook.com slash concert addiction and never miss anything going on in the world of live music uh that'll do it for this one thanks for watching until next time